Good morning, dreamers, and welcome back to Dreaming with Drifters. Today, we're going to show you guys what we're doing to keep our new chicks clean, healthy, and at least making it smell a lot better for us. I know on yesterday's video, you guys got to meet them for the first time, but let's go ahead and show you guys what the chicks are looking like right now. Well, good morning, my queen. Say hello to the chicky chick chicks guys. Hello chicky chicks. And um, you know, the more I thought about it, the more I've been debating on the names, my queen. The names of our chicks. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, we are, we're only wanting to keep the hens, right? We're not going to keep all the roosters. Right. Well, maybe if we do keep one or two roosters it'll just be these right here i don't know i kind of don't want to name them and then make them go to freezer camp you know <laughs> but guys as you can see is a little bit of a well chicken manure in there and it's making it smell a little bit my queen and it's not healthy for the chickens so we're going to be changing out the hay this morning huh yep. all right well i'm going to pass the camera off over to you and I'm going to go, uh, well, oh, actually, first we should take out the water dish and the food dish, huh? No, our food, our food. Ooh, ooh, oh, yeah. Going to go ahead and clean that good water bowl out as well. Catch the chicky chicks. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So we've decided, uh, Lissa had an excellent idea. Put the little, the lid up right here. And we can put the chicks behind it. Oh. Oh. And is that one pepper or is this one pepper? I think the other one was pepper. Yeah, that was pepper. That's cane. That's cane. All right, guys. So next up, we're going to go ahead and take this out here, my queen, if you want to grab this. It's not too heavy, guys. Um, now, I know that we should uh, go dump. I'm, you know what? I'm going to go dump this over in the area to where the future garden's going to be. And then I'll come right back and I'll bring the new hay in. It'll be ready to go. Ooh, yep. It's morning time. Sun's blazing. So you already know we got the solar field out. Oh, look at your purple queen. Not gonna go all the way over there. Right it's here. too loud over there. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, I'm probably going to go ahead and rinse this out because you know it's a little nasty inside yeah so if you want you can uh, either put you you can either put them on a pause or we can walk and see the dogs or you can talk about the flowers or whatever but I'm going to go rinse this out <laughs> we'll put you on a pause guys all right now that I got the bucket good and cleaned out I did go ahead and dry it out with some paper towels uh, I got some fresh hay from Come On Mountain. And I think that's going to be just good enough. Let's go ahead and get the chickies back in here and get the heat lamp set back up. It's hot out here already. Alright. Chicky, chicky, chicky. Chicky, chicky, chicky. Yeah. Here's my favorite birdie bird. That's my favorite too. This is my favorite. And uh... They might all be hens. Who knows? They might, I hope they are all hens. That way we can keep them all. And uh... If that's the case, are we going to keep Kane Kane? Maybe. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I uh... I know I do uh... B. Patton. Good name on Fantasia. I do like the name Fantasia. Yeah. 
She's like, where are my brothers and sisters? <laughs> Here we are. Here we are. Ooh, they're starting to get wings and feathers. <laughs> It's okay, Bernie. It's okay. It's okay, Bernie. It's okay. So fresh and so clean. Go ahead and put the food bowl back in. Uh oh. Make sure that locks back down. Somehow. I'll figure it out in a second. <laughs> Maybe. Can you figure it out? Pepper is big. That's the biggest one out of the three. There we go. Pepper is the biggest one yeah. right here? Yeah. This is Pepper? Yeah. He's got a brown spot on the side of its cheek. Oh, right there, I see it. Oh, okay, okay. Um, I gotta go clean out the water dish real quick because it's a little gunky. Gunky. Okay. All right, we got some good clean water. We're gonna flip that upside down real quick. And get that good and in there. So that's gonna be good to go, guys. We're gonna push this back down. Move this. Uh, that's fine. That's fine, baby. Um, and the reason that the light is on the side because I know at night we turn the heat lamp on and they need to be able to get out of the heat and in the heat whenever they want. So this is our setup. And uh, I do want to say thank you one more time. Big shout out to Anthony and Roxanne over at Country Road Care. Thank you guys so much for starting our flock. These are the first three, but there are a lot more to come. And uh, I believe we've had these birds, what, three days? Three days, yeah. Three days. I'm going to go ahead and double check with Anthony and then triple check with our friend Jeff over at Bobblehead Homestead, the chicken whisperer, and, uh, and ask them when is a good time to put them out in the chicken coop that we have. As a matter of fact, why don't you guys give us some advice? You could go ahead and drop it in the comments. How long should we wait before we put our birds in the new chicken coop? And don't worry, I've read all the comments and we are going to be buying some hardware cloth to uh, double wrap the outside of this to really try to predator proof this thing and, and get it going. They're cute. They're so cute. They're so darn cute. <laughs> um, well guys, what's our, uh, our plan for the day, my queen? Laundry! Woohoo! <laughs> Gonna go ahead and give Uncle David a call and see if he needs us to run any laundry for him as well while we're out. We try to go ahead and do uh, two birds, one stone. And also, while we're uh, doing laundry, we're gonna go ahead and stop by and check the post office box because I know at least one person, an uh, awesome subscriber over from the UK, Raggy, he, uh, he told us that there's a card in the mail and we're gonna go make sure we get it. <sighs> Another hot day, but another day is wonderful. Yeah. And uh, guys, guess what? Here pretty soon, all this around us is going to be changing. Right behind you, right over your shoulder, right now, right over your left shoulder is going to be our breaker panel. <laughs> and we're going to be installing our breaker panel soon in here, and we're going to be running wire, and then we're going to be framing stuff, and then we're going to be doing some insulation. I know, guys, when. Ted works coming. Oh, ASAP. A, I mean, not even ASAP. It, like, soon, soon. What's today? Wednesday? Guaranteed. 100% guaranteed. Before next Wednesday. We will be in here and some work will already be done. Guaranteed. You got hey, that's a promise. That's a promise from me and best to your knowledge. And the best I ain't never broke a promise yet. <laughs> hey, ask listen. When I promise something, it goes down. Hmm? Yeah. It goes down. Oh guys. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the generator off. I do got the generator in the background. 
charging up one of our portable power banks. The, uh, the, actually, the newest portable power bank we just uh, we just showed you guys, the EcoFlow Delta Pro 3. That's the one that's hooked up to the camper. It's doing pretty good. I will say the only downfall that I have about that, and maybe I can adjust this in the setting, is that um, we. So what we do is we run the camper plug right into that, and then we run the generator plug into the EcoFlow to charge it. And so that we could run the AC and everything and everything, and then I can just turn the generator off, have full battery and coast. However, when it reaches 100%, it and then like continues to ch to take on the charge. It doesn't continue to allow the voltage to pass through and to run it. So maybe that's a setting that I need to look at. Um, I know coming up, we're gonna we're going to be showing you guys exactly how I've been keeping the lights on in here and how we got this heat lamp powered up because as you see there's no plug right here there's no plug powering this up but we do got the lights on in the shelf so my queen I guess here shortly they're gonna find out how we're running power inside the shelf yep. we're gonna go ahead and hop over here keep this one a short one today got lots of things to do I'm ready to move these birds in the chicken house but before we do it I want to know they're at a right age and we're able to get everything rolling. Make some phone calls, double check. Don't forget to drop it in the comments, guys. Let us know when you think it's a good time for us to take these birds out to the chicken coop. And don't worry, we're going to show you every step of the way, moving the birds in. We even got an extra special present from Pops for something inside the chicken coop. You guys are going to love it. Until tomorrow, we'll catch you guys later. Keep on drifting them dreams. Because if you really want to, but you really got to want to, you can go and get them. Love you guys. Bye. Bye. Oh, go Drew's Lens. Drew's Lens and Drew's Lens Reacts. Check those channels out, guys. Love y'all. Bye.